Jesus, Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk. Through. Child. Feels. Stretched. Better. No. Jonas, where did you... We are abounding. Not one. one. Silly. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Well, I mean, Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Jonas, let's go. Okay, look, I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Hey, I was just the girl on the sidewalk watching the car crash happen in slow motion. But you should nip it in the bud with Ren when we get back. Just say you're sorry. <sighs> Fine.
this is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but it doesn't necessarily mean... I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist, and... But, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Some aspects of it just, um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Yeah, I, I guess I just can't really imagine that. I need to see or touch it or see evidence, you know? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Oh, God, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Maybe they wanna... Maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to, whatever, like, talk through us or something? I guess. One way to find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh... Doing, hun? Alex, a little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there? Please? Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? Are you... Are you not possessed right now? Possessed? I am possessed. I am consumed with an unending fury. She was wonderful with her hands. Yet, I keep hurting, and I really don't want to. Is this... Is this you right now, Clarissa? Or is this a ghost? Because if it's... Ghost. Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Damn, Jonas, what... What was all that about? I don't know. Clarissa, are you all right? <sighs> Steady, just... Just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you... do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stuff. <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates- Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. 
He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh. She is a pox, Jonas. Ugh, you are completely insane. It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters were all secretly talking about you. Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is... Enough! I mean it. Jonas, don't... Just don't think of me like... I don't. I won't. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in three. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Oh, damn it. Yeah, she was just here. Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... Making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... It's not even our fault. We just... I mean, how does a radio have this sort of effect on anything? It, it doesn't. It can't. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Let's get in. Come on, Alex. I'm gonna need your help with the door thing, I'm sure. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <sighs> Never gets old. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're... Wall radios. Wall stands for wave assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate, too. Oh, great. Let's hike it back to the gate. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... <laughs> Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like... like ghosts? Or the army? Or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Huh? W what the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune to 140.1, and that will somehow lead us to, like, 
information or secret stuff or something. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself? And then it's... <laughs> I've had... Oh, I've seriously had, like, dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You... We do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Everything becomes a... Alpha. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is, I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? He's just he's just a friend, but he was Well, I mean, if he's here, there's only two places he could be, the beach or the town. Yeah, it's a small island. I'm sure you'll run into him. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this Don't you remember we're all on the island, Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face, Mr. Collins English? Truthfully, I've, um, I- Ah, sorry, I think, yeah, I, <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh God, you idiot, go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So, uh, <laughs> do you, well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our I'm... whole, like, island horror show, ghosts and possessions and, and none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Clarissa, no, this, this is different. He's my brother. I've known him since I was born. He's not just a friend I'm losing. Yeah, I get that, I get that, and um, I'm sorry if you feel like, you're losing him, because you're not. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. 
What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. <laughs> thank you. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. <laughs> all the nights. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're... you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so... Thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. It just... don't let it happen again. If we're hanging out, we're hanging out. I don't need the pep squad trailing us. Hey, she's a little more to me than the pep squad, okay? She's a cool girl, you just have to know her a little better. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you! Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do 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 you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but Jonas, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he? Did did you see him somewhere here? I, I was. It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was. It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah. Uh. Good. Some <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. What weird stuff? Clarissa sort of, kind of got possessed and then disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, so there's that. What? Where is she? Clarissa will be fine. She's, she hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Turn on the Lima India Golf Hotel.
Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. That house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. Radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally, Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like. Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yeah, I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again, who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Ugh. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. How are you doing? How are you doing? Think. Ren secretly hates me since I kinda put my faith in you over him in pressure cooker situations? No, he'll be alright, I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. Uh. Put some clothes on! <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah.
There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. So, think we're really about to make it out of here? I have my doubts, I'll be honest. Yeah, you should. But just, can we talk about something? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? I just don't get it. Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I mean, a second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're hey, Nona. Hey. Okay, so this is probably a terrible time to bring this up. Actually, I know it is, but Ren really does mean well, so just take it easy on him. No, uh, please, let's talk about something normal. But, uh, yeah, I will, no problem. Clarissa? Your Highness. For the 800th time, and I don't even know why I feel like I have to keep selling you on this, but here goes again. Michael wasn't my fault. <sighs> as long as you believe it, I guess. Look, I don't want to be a creep about it, but I've been, like, really worried about you. Why? Because I haven't seen you all night. I saw you. No, you didn't. Not after everything happened or whatever. No? No. I could swear I, like, owed you something, but I guess not. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? 
tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Come on, Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just stop whatever this is, can't you? Just... Just fix my friends, please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry, the test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple. I don't want to play this. Just tell me what's happening. Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Once they call the fish away. Four. Three. Two. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models have been x-rays. But right now, it would be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... I not... spy. With my little eye. We have a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Jonas, come on, snap out of it. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Bring him back, right now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Mommy duck called quack, quack, quack. 
rapid four, three. The the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very, very nice. That's Margaret, Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could- I don't care about your, your time problems. These are my friends you're replacing. Then let us share in each other's disregard. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. Hopefully this will work as usual. Influence Michael. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. I'm sorry, alright? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A go Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... A good question. We could... I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so, I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car is on fire, you can just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all flummoxed again? It's all I can think of at the moment, all right? Maybe it, I don't know, maybe it works like a door, and we can somehow figure out how to, you know, close it. You want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. 
All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s, and Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just- God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. All right. Hit the... Oh, sorry. This is like... This looks like the end, but from the... From the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be- Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake, don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. I'm just... I don't... <sighs> Forget it then, okay? I'm sorry. Let's not dirty the cabinets, I guess. All right, just for anyone wondering, I used to say that a lot until I realized how weird it sounded. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please... Don't tell me, I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No!